This is a very familiar tool that the internet has seen in the last two months. This is a non-adhesive sort of painter's tape that, well, is used to do the Tempest tape mod, which is just covering the back of your PCB and, and sort of spreading the vibrations and such to make your keyboard more, what's the buzzword nowadays, thocky. I always like to say bassier uh, and higher pitched rather than clack and thock because honestly, they kind of sound dumb. <laughs> but uh, well, I, I guess buzzwords are all the rage now, aren't they? But I digress. Anyway, so in regards to the tape mod and the sort of thin non-adhesive tapes in which non-adhesive means it doesn't leave behind sticky residue, I decided to experiment a little bit further because albeit that I did find out that it worked, I felt like you couldn't just only tape the back of a PCB, right? There, there has to be more usages to it. Because if you think about it, we have been slapping fabric on pretty much everything, whether if it's fabric or paper or whatnot, or foam. Foam or some sort of insert or third-party helper always seems to be something that people put on their keyboards. So for example, the Band-Aid mod, in which that people put strips of Band-Aid where the stabilizers were over the stabilizer holes to dampen the bottom out sound and also potentially save PCB a couple of years of use. Or if you were to do the Holy mod, where you stick a piece of Band-Aid fabric inside the stabilizer housing in order to uh, potentially reduce the rattle, or you put foam inside your keyboard because it will create a more muted sound but also make your board less hollow. So two of the modifications that I attempted with this tape is actually, well, one, the Band-Aid mod, which is putting the tape on the PCB, and two, I tried Epsi modding. And Epsi modding is basically a shortened version of the Holy mod in your stabilizers. Uh, the reason why is because I can't be fucked to do the whole loop-de-loop -loop around with a piece of fabric that I may or may not have frayed by cutting it. And considering this is so much cheaper than band-aids, even though that band-aids were already pretty cheap, it's less of a hassle really, because you don't have anything laying around. If you have tape laying around, just throw it away. But then you have fabric, you have bits, bits and pieces of sticky adhesive somewhere. I find it a mess. So the easy part was obviously putting the tape onto the PCB. You just kind of put it over the stabilizer holes and it works pretty well. Uh, and the second one was putting them inside your stabilizer housings. And how you do it is just exactly how you would do it like the Holy Mod, except Epsi modding is when you put the fabric or stabilizer muting thing on the two tips of the stabilizer. So if you were to take the back of a stabilizer, right? Let me see if I can focus on this. You would basically put it in two specific spots. You would put it on the very tip of the slant right here is about this much. So just about like a third of this flathead screwdriver's front and a little bit on the bottom down here. Uh, this video by keyboard, you can see right here, uh, goes into more de depth uh, because he goes over many different forms of stabilizer treatment uh, and love and care, I suppose. But since I can't do this on camera, why don't I just show you the actual results of my stabilizer modding with the tape mod. And keep in mind that all of these keyboards have had their stabilizers treated with the Epsi mod via this tape. And on the PCB where I replaced the Band-Aid mod with, well, the tape mod in that sense, I suppose. I can't really be creative about it because it really can't be creative. What do you even call it? Tape PCB top mod? Yeah, sure, why don't we go with that? But anyway, let me cut to a couple of space bars and such that have been properly tape modded and Epsi modded with the tape. What a mouthful. Okay, like I said again, all these have the tape mod applied on where the Band-Aid mod would usually be and Epsi modded with, yet again, the tape that you see on camera right here. There will be no wobble, there will be no rattle, and of course, there will be good sound. Here we go.
All right, that, that kind of clears it out. And just for reference, here's what happens when you forget a stabilizer and you forget to do the PCB mod and the, and the well, EPSI mod, I guess. Yeah, it makes a huge difference compared to, say, this one. So this enter key, like all my keyboards, are cursed. <laughs> but yeah, that's just what I wanted to uh, sort of propose someone perhaps could do if they don't want to waste bandages and they want to have something a little bit more disposal. Just get some painter's tape that you have not only used to tape mod the bottom of your PCB, but perhaps you could use in the Band-Aid mod. Because one, it's not very thick. It's not a fabric, it's just a piece of paper. Well, a bit more durable piece of paper, I suppose, with a small bit of adhesive on the side. It's not going to create mushy feeling. However, it still will pr provide a, a small form of dampening when it comes to this, because not only will it be able to soften the bottom out, but because it's also inside the stabilizer, it basically acts as a makeshift holy mod. Because, when you know it, if you really want to do a holy mod with the tape, you can actually do it. As a matter of fact, this left shift right here was actually done like that by accident. Because, well, I sort of overcut and I decided to put it in there, but I was like, I'm not going to cut this inside the stabilizer, so I'm just going to loop it around. And lo and behold, it's a good stabilizer. So, and of course, make sure that you do it with your stabilizers completely dry. Because since the adhesive isn't as strong as say like a fabric band-aid or a piece of rubber that you have found on like a KBD fans pad for the, your stabilizers or whatnot, uh, if, you, if any form of like oil or such is inside the stabilizer, it's probably gonna slip right out. Just like if you try to put tape on something wet, it's not gonna stick. So be careful when you do this tape mod to your stabilizers and your PCB. Because if it slips around in the stabilizer, it's just gonna come right out and it's potentially could stick a piece of like weirdo lubed piece of tape inside your keyboard. So make sure that when you actually do tape mod with this tape, uh, everything is bone dry. Otherwise you run some problems. Like I have with this enter key, not only did I fail to properly do it the first time, but because of the fact that I tried it when it was already looped and I thought it was okay, most likely in here is a piece of tape that is just making this noise. So take my mistakes, learn from them, and I hope this will be of help to some person perhaps trying to do some modding, but on a budget and using the materials that they already had. All right, hope this helps. I just revealed my entire secret to the world and uh, good luck to anyone that is hoarding painter's tape. Now, if you excuse me, you gotta run from the cops. <laughs>